Okay, so before we run out the video, I just want to give you all your spoiler warning. Since this video will have major spoilers regarding the Attack on Titan story as a whole. So anime onlys and people that aren't caught up on the manga, please click off this video, man. Please, man. Other than that, enjoy the video, guys. Okay, y'all, the leaks are finally here, man. The leaks are finally here for the last chapter in the Attack on Titan story. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go, dog. And wow, let me just say, if these leaks do end up being official and, like, they're actually correct and they're right, they predicted everything and stuff, then I honestly don't know how to feel about the ending of the story since these leaks do cover, like, the start of the chapter, the middle and then like the ending and it's just insane so let's just get right into these leaks first let's talk about the first part of the leaks where it basically just goes over what happens after mikasa just chops off aaron's head you know in chapter 138 where she just goes crazy on his head man aaron just meets up with armin in the past and they just talk about things that happened in the past you know going over like certain events and memories and stuff then the leak says that my boy armin says his final goodbye to aaron and he wakes up to the scene of mikasa holding aaron's head like a freaking warrior and if this does end up being true i just want to say i feel like something like this was already going to happen in the final chapter you know this is going to be aaron's like goodbye chapter and stuff because the last three chapters have been focused on the main trio like of attack on titan i think chapter 137 was all about arm and then chapter 138 obviously mikasa and i feel like this chapter is going to be you know aaron's chapter other than that it does seem like our boy aaron is dead and i and a lot of other people thought that aaron was still alive but nah he's just he's just dead now like damn dog our boy aaron after doing all this genocide causing just pain suffering is just finally put to rest r.i.p aaron now for the next part of the leaks it says that all the pure titans that were fighting reiner turn back to normal which basically means that gene connie and gabby are finally like, they're just chilling they're okay then we get like a hallucination type of thing because levi sees erwin and hanji again and gene and connie see sasha again from the evaporating titan steam and stuff you know the pure titans just like basically just dying off which is pretty wholesome you know after all the pain and suffering levi has gone through he finally gets to see erwin and hanji again and connie gets to see sasha again who he was really close with and when i read this part of the leak i low-key started to cry dog now for the last part of the leak it says a time skip happens and a few years later historia is holding her child and this is where it gets crazy y'all this is where it gets insane what if i told y'all that the dude that was holding you know like in that panel shot that isayama revealed you know like for the aot manga like towards the end of the series of like a dude holding a baby was the farmer okay the farmer is historia's baby daddy not our boy aaron a farmer bro a farmer that we don't even know his name people literally call him farmer coon bro but besides that if y'all were wondering what happened to other characters like reiner and annie well they seem to be doing good and Lee says that they're just chilling on the ship like they're just you know chilling on the ship but here's a problem i have with this if this does end up being official okay because it's not official at all here's the only problem i have with this bro why is reiner still alive honestly why is reiner still alive I mean, this man has more plot armor than Aaron himself, and Aaron is the main character of the story. How the hell does a side character have more plot armor than the main character himself? I mean, I feel like Reiner should have died back in chapter 138 when he was fighting the freaking slug thingy and like 30 pure tie-ins at once. I mean, come on now, like that's just way too much plot armor to survive all of that, and that's just my opinion, okay? Now regarding Falcon and Gabby, they're just chilling with Levi, who's in a wheelchair, which is very understandable. I mean, that man has been putting in work for so many years now bro okay so i know this is a pretty long video so let's just get to the ending of the leak and it says mikasa is chilling by a gravestone when a bird just comes up and pokes at her like you know her little like um thing aaron gave her oh my god i did not just forget a scarf the scarf thingy and people are saying that this bird is aaron freaking jaeger our boy aaron jaeger got reincarnated into a bird which symbolizes freedom. Wow, man. Tell me what y'all think about this leak. Do y'all think it's official? A lot of people are like, ah, this is really the ending of the story. I don't like it at all. This is garbage and stuff. It's probably not official, but sometimes the leaks are very, very accurate. You know, chapter 138 leaks were very, very accurate to the actual chapter. So tell me what y'all think about this down in the comments below. And yeah, it's been your boy, WeeBM. And peace. I'm out. Give me the motherfucking walk. I got the clock. Cut it, game motherfucking day. I'm in the body with walk. This the walk. I got the motherfucking head. Out of that bed of that dot. I need fuck with this.